Hello children, it is I, your friendly neighborhood race, and hello, how you been, how you doing? Anyway, I have a beautiful guitar here to show you guys today. It is the Ibanez RG60ALS, and it looks a little something like this. This is, of course, in the black Aurora Burst matte finish. So there's a lot to discuss about this guitar from Ibanez, of course, so let's dive into it. For those of you that want to hear how this guitar sounds and plays, check the timestamp down below this video, and you'll be able to find the section where we compare the sounds because I'm about to talk about the specs. So the first thing you notice, obviously, is the finish. This is called the Aurora Burst Matte Finish, and it's kind of cool because when you get it in certain lighting, it goes from looking purpley to sometimes green looking. It's really cool. I'm gonna see if I could get a video to show you the exact way it captures on film, but also to the eye. It's really stunning but also very industrial, so it's not for everybody. It's not everybody's taste. It is a burst finish. I know some people don't even like burst finishes, so that's something to consider, but it's a pretty cool finish. I mean, like, you could see my computer screen sort of reflecting off of it, but I don't know, I think it's cool. Like, from this angle, if I look at it like this, it kind of looks just gray. Slight shades of green, and there's the purple on the outside. Anyway, I think it's a cool kind of, like, eye catcher of a finish. The body wood, funny enough, is made of something called Nyota, and I'm not sure if that's a proprietary wood combination from Ibanez or if that's an actual wood type. Actually, let's look that up. Nyoto. Sorry, not Nyota. Nyoto. So basically, it's a kind of wood that grows in Southeast Asia, especially in Indonesia and Philippines. And we all know guitar factories love making stuff in Indonesia. And this one was made in Indonesia. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, so it's a uh, Indonesian wood. Nyota is generally perceived as a sustainable resource. Okay, cool. So there you go. It's sustainable. Who knew? Actually, it's probably Nyato. Nyato. I should slow down when I read instead of just like speeding through everything. So obviously it has the RG guitar body shape, which everybody knows and loves, or hates, depending on what your style of play is. Their bridge is the Edge 02 tremolo system. Obviously it's a locking tremolo system. And if you guys remember, I made a video about why you need a guitar with a uh, locking trem because you can do a lot of cool stuff with it, but just click on the video up there. So of course the Edge series of bridges are used heavily in a lot of Ibanez guitars. It's part of the same lineup of bridges that are on guitars like Steve Vai's Gem, for example, and they're known to take a lot of abuse. In my personal opinion, they usually have a smoother and easier kind of like handle and response than your traditional Floyd Rose. But again, that's one of those things where you just got to try it. Some people might actually prefer the Floyd to an Edge, or there are also people who prefer the Goto 510 and tremolo series. Again, it's a preference thing. Moving on to specifications that you may or may not prefer. It has the traditional 25 and a half scale length that is typically used on most Ibanez RG guitars. It's got a 1.692 inch nut width for people like me who have big mids and like their necks to be spacious. And then of course, the hardware. Yes, folks, probably the reason why you're here. So in the neck position, it has a Sustainiac humbucker and we all know how much you love Sustainiacs. I love Sustainiac pickups. I put it in a custom guitar of mine. You can watch that video up there. It's different from that Sustainiac though because the control setup is a little different. So right here we have a three-way toggle selector, obviously for the two pickups that we have here, a volume control and a tone control. And this switch right here is to toggle between the three different modes of a Sustainiac pickup. There is the regular sustainer, the harmonic sustainer, and then the mix sustainer, which combines the uh, regular and harmonic modes to sustain together. On my guitar, on Stella, I have another switch right here where I turn it on to activate the sustainer. This guitar doesn't have an extra switch. The way you activate the sustainer on this pickup is by simply pulling up, it's a push-pull pot, on the tone knob. So you just pull up on the tone knob and the sustainer is now activating and basically picking up the sound from the bridge pickup. Let me show you what it sounds like. So what happened there is that the washer nut that holds the sustainer switch in place uh, got loose. Let me show you some other cool stuff that it does. So this guitar got loose and the sustainer isn't working either. See, you can just hear that. Let's, let's listen to what it sounds like through the amp. Yeah, that's not really a working sustainer. I have sustainers that work, and for some reason this one's not it. And in the bridge position, you have a DiMarzio Edge 7 humbucker. 
It looks cool. It looks, again, very industrial. Fits with the vibe of the guitar. Another thing to note about these pickups, especially the Sustainiac, is that they are active pickups, which means they take a 9-volt battery. Quick rundown of the other specs that I really like about this guitar. It has a polyurethane finish, obviously also a matte finish, so it kind of feels more smooth to the touch and not glossy or sticky like some other guitars. Again, preference thing. The fingerboard is Madagascar Ebony, and one of the cool things about it is it has like these offset finger dots. It's not really a common design you see on a lot of guitars, but it's cool when you do see it. And then my favorite spec to talk about is the five-piece Panga Panga slash Walnut Neck. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but that is a five-piece neck and it has the wood grains all up in there. It's a cool feeling. It's kind of very similar to the Brazilian Rosewood Neck PRS guitars. For those of you who have ever tried them out, usually they're in private stock PRS guitars. It feels grainy, feels woody, it feels more of the earth. So it's a very unique feeling. I recall when I first tried it, I wasn't a fan, like on PRS Necks. Maybe I didn't try the right ones, I'm not sure, but I really dig the feel of this one. And another cool thing about the guitar is that the side dots on the side of the neck are lumen light dots. So what that means is they do glow in the dark if they have been charged, so to speak, with a light source, like a flashlight. And last but not least, it has a Nitro Wizard neck with a 15.7 radius, so it is very flat and it is very shreddy. So let's talk about the pros and the cons as far as I see it. The pros. Neck feels great, as I mentioned. Guitar looks great. The pickups sound pretty good, sound very decent. And the overall build quality is fairly solid, I will not lie. Now the cons, again, you have to remember that this is a very specific guitar for a very specific kind of player. So literally everything I mentioned as a pro for me could be a con for somebody else. For example, the Sustainiac pickup doesn't necessarily always have the best or even most applicable sound for a lot of people in terms of how it functions as a pickup by itself. It's got its own kind of sound and that could be a negative for some people. So barring everything that I find as a pro, aside. There are a few issues that I had with this guitar that I'm fairly certain is just with this particular guitar, meaning this one right here, not necessarily the other guitars of this model. So for starters, when I ordered this guitar, it was supposed to come with a whammy bar. It didn't. Okay. No! When I received the guitar, the fret edges were very sharp, just this particular guitar. And obviously I don't want to cut my hand every time I move up and down it, so that's not fun. In terms of the bridge's tail, it should be a little lower and flush to the body. But that's a setup issue that likely happened at the place where I purchased this. I will say, in my personal opinion, this might be a con for a lot of people, I feel that this guitar isn't really suited for a lot of genres aside from metal. Obviously you could play any guitar in any genre, it'll sound fine. But in terms of like, bang for your buck, you can probably get a better sounding, for example, if you're a blues player, you could get a better sounding guitar to play blues than this guitar. If you are a pop guitar player, if you play jazz, right? I, I'd even go as far as saying maybe, 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 if you play like just straight ahead rock and roll, this might be a bit too heavy of a sounding guitar for you because these are pretty like intense pickups and they work really great and they crush distortion really nicely. Again, you could tweak things to your taste and make things work however you wanna make them work and that's always great. But I find this guitar to shine, particularly in the metal, death metal kind of thing. And you'll hear, you'll hear the differences in sound. Now let's compare the sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
so there you have it. You heard what this guitar sounds like. It feels like an RG guitar. Again, for better or worse, some people might like it, some people might hate it. And the thing about the RG guitar as well is that they have incredible guitars for shredding, right? But the thing that makes it incredible guitars is the variety of different necks that they have. They have the Super Wizard, they have the Super Wizard HP, they have the Nitro Wizard, the regular Wizard, the Wizard 3. They have so many different Wizard necks, and each of them offer differences that I guess to some people would be like, I guess it would be negligible to a lot of people, but for guitar players that are very specific about how they want their guitar necks to feel, one millimeter would be a world of difference. Whether we're talking about the action or we're talking about the nut width, that's why there's a variety. And Ibanez makes some great necks. That being said, I will say I do think this is a metal guitar. This is a very heavy metal guitar. As you just heard, both these guitar pickups are active, meaning they require battery. But the Sustainiac pickup offers something more of a warmer, natural, kind of single coily sound, more so than the, the bridge pickup. The bridge pickup is very, very hot. And again, that's great for rock, metal, and all that stuff. However, when it comes to cleans, I wouldn't say it has the best cleans. And I do like my clean tones. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a me thing. But for some reason, every time I either get an Ibanez or I try one out, there's always something wrong with it. And I don't know if it's a quality control thing. I don't know if it's something on Ibanez's side of things. I don't know. But for whatever reason, I can't for the life of me get a guitar or find a guitar, get my hands on a guitar that doesn't have a problem with the bridge or something wrong with the neck. That's just my luck of the draw when it comes to Ibanez. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have come across any Ibanezes that are just flawless. If so, where'd you get them from? Who, who'd you buy them from? Because I, I really like the necks. I like the pickups on a lot of them. These are great, great guitars for playing super fast without a speed limit. I want to play without a speed limit, but there are just some things that make it a little bit too hard, like sharp fret edges that cut your hand every time you play or scratch them at least. We'll keep looking. Anyway, let's listen to this guitar one more time, uh, just going all out with some good old fashioned heavy metal stuff and check out how this guitar really kind of flies and sounds great. <laughs> Summation, would I try this guitar out if I came across another model of this kind? Absolutely. Can I suggest people to purchase them off the internet? No questions asked, no. I actually wouldn't suggest people do that with guitars in general. You gotta try them out. Try them out in your hands, try them with an amp, especially if it's electric, see if you like them. Because when you buy them blind, sometimes, man. Anyway, my name is The Rave. Thank you for being wonderful. I will see you next time. Hit the subscribe button for more content like this down below, and uh, I hope to see you then. Take care of yourselves and each other.